had a little traffic, but uh, not to worry, he is right on his way. Should be live. Uh, double checking now. Where's the where's the mic part? So it's just right right there by your mouth. Wow. So, okay. So yeah. I don't need to bring my mic anymore. I'll just use this one. Seems great. Unboxing the break. There you go. All right. Well, it looks like uh, looks like the chat started. Wait. See, some people were in the chat. Hey, everyone. I'm here. I made it. Started a little late. Sorry, guys. Uh, didn't anticipate some pretty heavy traffic coming across the bridge. If you are in the Bay Area, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it was nuts tonight. I think there was there must have been an accident early because it was completely backed up. But uh, but yeah. but I made it. And uh, this is Unboxing Art Show Episode 8. It's been about a month since we did our last one. Uh, the arts continue to arrive. Uh, we got a ton of art to show you guys tonight. Thanks so much for spending Saturday night with me. Let's see who's in the room. Um, Rezwanel Mahmood. How you doing, Rez? Bootlegging is a habit. Always great to see you, Dan. Pat L., my buddy Pat. Timothy Guerrero from uh, Central America. Mike Sitchi from Jersey. Hey, and Mike, Ron Lim. Ron, you're in the city. You know what I'm talking about. Although, I'm not sure if you ever go the other way. Uh, Marcus Way, of course. Grant Riddle, Absurd 13. Mark V. Mark V, uh, whom I met last week in Berkeley at the Daniel Warren Johnson signing. Mark, uh, I don't know how old you are, but if you saw Road Warrior in the theater, you're older than I thought. Uh, and congrats, you look 20 years younger. Uh, Kelsey Steen, how you doing, Kelsey? Scott Wingo, I don't know if you know each other, Kelsey and Scott, but you're from the same state. Uh, if I had thumbs, they'd be green. I'm not sure who you are, but thanks for coming. Jeff Wedding, um, Yo Curry, my pal Yo, who was also here last week. Uh, Morgan Hatfield, Michael Finn, Grant Riddle, and uh, on and on, MVP. Sorry if I missed anyone, Mr. Red Jack 12. Wow, good uh, good turnout tonight. Uh, Sean, just Sean. I, I know several Seans, but uh, thanks for coming, this particular Sean. Uh, Mike Cushion. Hi, Mike, Steve Mussolino. Hey, I'm Steve. Um, Adil Alamon, who I believe is in the UK. Uh, wow, big turnout. Rick Yankowski, Matt Fritas. New name, I, 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 if, I've, uh, if I haven't seen you before, uh, sorry about that, but thanks. Matt Jiggy Cruz from the Philippines. So yes, an international audience. Uh, Bailey, Joao Antunis from Europe. Ryan Brockner, Robert Fry, longtime collector Robert Fry. Uh, Bad Bear Comics. Uh, okay, I think I'm, I'm just about caught up there. Um, I'm I'm a little out of breath. Uh, it's been it's been a long crazy day. This was kind of impromptu. Uh, I sprung this on Yams. Yams has ju just returned from a month long trip where he uh, worked on a, an art project that uh, debuted at uh, Art Basel in Miami. Very exciting time 
for Yams. Congratulations to Yams. Uh, but he's back and he's here to uh, help me with these uh, these videos. So um, yeah, welcome back. Perfect timing. So we got we got a lot of boxes. Um, yeah, and there's uh, uh, extra element of danger this episode. A little more uh, potential jeopardy. So not only might I cut myself with this knife that you see every episode, but I got my booster shot at uh, noon today. Um, I asked the nurse, you know, from their observation, when do the side effects kick in? They said about eight hours, give or take. I said, well, yeah, well, how bad are the side effects? They said, about the same as what they were for your second shot. Well, if that's the case, then uh, I'm going to be knocked out. I'll be flat on my ass. And uh, what time is it right now? It's 6.15. Yeah, an hour and 45 minutes, I'll be done. Because uh, that second shot uh, knocked me out. I mean, I was laid up for for a good 48 hours. I mean, I was, I, I couldn't even lift up my phone to text my, to check my text, so... So anyway, the, the countdown has begun to when I, uh, when, when this uh, booster pulls me over. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's get started. So we have a cool prize this week, which I described as an official bootleg. So what is an official bootleg? Well, it would be this. A little delay on my screen here, but I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Um... But this is uh, the Felix Comic Art 2021 Holiday Card. And uh, if you can see it, it is, uh, I'll hold it up a little closer. Uh, it's just a wonderful piece by Nick Tregada, uh featuring uh, his character Death on his horse from the beloved series East of West. Um, and... Uh, is this uh, bootleg merch? Uh, if it's done by the co-creator, I'll let you guys decide. But whatever it is, this is going to be uh, one of the rarest East of West collectibles out there. So every year uh, since I started Felix Comic Art, I produced a holiday card that I sent out to the, you know, to the artists, to friends, to family, you know, collector pals, um, and uh, always have a original piece on it. Um, the first two or three were James Jean, and we came out swinging. Uh, James produced a new piece for me every year, uh, and then uh, I think we may have done a photo card one year, uh, but the last few years have been all new pieces from our other artists, including this one by Nick. We Last year was Matias Bergara, year before that was Daniel Warren Johnson, uh, year before that was Riley Rosmo, and forgive me if I've forgotten anyone, but you get the idea. Uh, so there have been eight cards to date. Um, if anyone out there has a complete set, congratulations. Uh, you probably have all the Felix Comic Art merch. Um, at this point, I don't even think I even have a complete set of these cards. I'm jealous. Um, <laughs> hey, you, you have a complete I set? Yes. So. Really? <laughs> Not that I can't I, I'll bet some. I wonder if anyone in the audience, uh, anyone in the audience has uh, a complete set. But if you do... Let me know. Shoot me a picture because, again, I don't think I have one. Um, so we have six boxes. So we're going to be giving away six of these cards. And uh, you can have a pristine card, unsigned, unsullied by my handwriting, if you want. Or if you want me to write you a holiday wish, I can do that too. Yeah, whatever you decide if you win. But I got six cards here uh, for six winners. Uh, good luck, everyone. And we're going to get started. Okay. Um, full disclosure, uh, I've got six packages here. Three have already been opened for various reasons. Um, you know, s someone said to me, you know what, just tape it up and pretend like you never opened it and and uh, just just for 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 the theatrics of it, pretend you're opening it uh, live, and eh, it's not really my style. If it's open before, I'll tell you. We keep it real here. Um, but uh, two of them include art I've never seen before. So this is a box that has been opened. Um, it's a generic FedEx box. 
It really could be anyone. So let's see. Uh, let's see uh, who's gonna who's gonna figure out this one. And when I tell you who it is, uh, I think some of you will will go. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, any guesses? Ricky and Kosky says Bergara, Timothy Gross says Stegman, uh, Kelsey says uh, Gretel Stevens, Pat L. Otley, Matthew Todd, DWJ, Matt, Mike Sitchi, Patera, Scott Wingo, Eminen, Ron Lim, Conley, Bootleg and Habit, Conley, Michael Pinter, Gata, Eminen, James Heron, Huddleston, uh, Mr. Boo, don't know who that is, uh, DWJ, Patera, DWJ, Otley, uh, guess what, uh, second guess, got it right off the bat. Great job, Timothy Guerrero. He said Stegman. Yes, this is Stegman. And if you caught our, if we caught my chat with Ryan uh, at Comic Art Live a few weeks ago, uh, you'll know I opened this box because, uh, you know, we weren't going to have an unboxing show for a while. And since I had Ryan, uh, you know, right there, uh, we went over some of his art on the show. So this is the art from that, from that chat uh, on Bill Cox's Comic Art Live. Now, if you haven't... Uh, watched it uh this art will all be new to you um uh, this is art from the great brian stegman up here and the first things we have are going to be commissions so he uh our commission list is from 2021 it was a super long list he's still working on it Thank you, everyone, for your patience while he finishes these. I mean, it was a, it was a really long list. Uh, we took extra long lists last year uh, because the pandemic was getting started. There was a lot of uncertainty in terms of, uh, you know, what that would do to publishing, what that would mean for uh, artist schedules. And, uh, you know, uh, didn't know, right? Thought there could potentially be more time for them to work on it. Well... Uh, publishing really didn't skip a beat, and Brian is as busy as ever. So the list is taking longer to finish. The good news is the art is, of course, customarily awesome. And even better, a lot of you commissioners have had the good fortune of having these pieces be turned into covers. Uh, Marvel really loves Ryan's work. Any chance they have to uh, uh, get something new from Ryan that they can use as a cover, they'll do it. And since Ryan was, was, was knocking these commissions out, uh, it was like, uh, uh, you know, serendipity. It was uh, perfect marriage. And, and lucky collectors, um, you, you, you paid for a bus commission, you ended up with a published cover. So here, I, I now obviously not all of these are going to be turned into covers, but maybe some of these still might. Who knows? Uh, we have Rogue here. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, this is Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Penguin. Rare DC character for Ryan. Joker. Another DC. I really like this one. Uh, Moon Knight. He's about to get his own show on Disney+. Plus. Spidey, of course. Spawn. This is uh, this is a natural for Ryan, being the uh, being the huge uh, Todd McFarlane fan that he is. And Green Goblin. So if you have been uh, waiting for your commissions, I've got uh, I don't know like ten of them here. Uh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight. I got eight. And I'll be writing you guys uh, shortly to confirm your shipping addresses. Uh, Ryan has also sent me uh, a load of covers. Now, some of these are pencils only because J.P. Mayer will be sending me the inks. But uh, at least you'll get to see the pencils now. This is a uh, this is promo art for Ghost Rider 50th Anniversary Edition, and uh, Ryan thinks this may be eventually used for a cover. I'm, I mean, it, it has to be. This thing is wild. It's amazing. Hold it up a little higher. Let's see if this helps. 
So yeah, wait till you see the uh, wait till you see the, uh, the inks, which I'm sure will be awesome. Oh, I'm turn this around. Okay. This is a variant cover, and this is all uh, Stegman art pencils and inks uh, for the new uh, Matt Rosenberg book. Uh, What's the furthest place from here? And I believe there is a uh, big fan of this particular title in our chat audience tonight. So here you go. Here's a here is a variant cover. Uh, another another all Stegman pencil and ink uh, cover for a book called Noctera. And uh, I've been. Um, I've been gathering up covers for an all cover drop. You know, we did we did one for San Diego Felix Con. We did one for New York Felix Con. You know, every time we do one, they just about all sell out. Uh, it's just a, uh, an amazing collection of knockout covers, nothing but covers. So especially for the people who love covers, there's your chance. Uh, people, you know, a lot of people, it's their first cover. Uh, try to have uh, covers available in all price ranges. Um, and, you know, when you get art by the best talent in comics, you just can't go wrong. Uh, this is a Hulk cover. So uh, the new Hulk just came out by our own Ryan Otley. And uh, the other Ryan, Ryan Stegman, did a kick-ass variant cover for it. And this is going to be, uh, and, and it's all Ryan Stegman. This is a great cover uh, for... The Nick Klein, our, our, another one of our artists, who is just killing it on Thor, uh, which is now one of Marvel's most popular titles. Uh, every piece of art we've gotten, and it's, we're 20-something issues in, uh, has sold. Um, and no doubt this is going to be a very popular cover. Frog Thor, or, or Throg, as he's known. Love it. All right, you Star Wars fans. Uh, Darth Vader. By Stegman, 100% Stegman. And if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for the, just this deep dark inks, when it's like an ocean of inks on the, on the, on the, on the board. This is great. I mean, of course the saber really uh, pops against that background. Here's a pencil piece. So that means uh, the ink counterpart will be coming from JP. Uh, Sabretooth number one cover. And get another uh, Hulk variant cover, and this is a uh, shout out. Uh, he's paying uh, homage to his own cover. This is a, a one of the Venom covers. I think it was four or five. Um, yeah, he's 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 referencing himself. I, um, yeah, why not? Saber Tooth two cover. Hulk number 50 cover. This is for uh, Immortal Hulk. Uh, we've had a few of those covers, uh, including one by uh, one of our newest artists, Sanford Green. And speaking of all cover drop, uh, I'm expecting new art from Sanford. Uh, he's got some uh, covers he's cooked up. Um, I also, you know what, I'll take this opportunity to talk up St Sanford a little bit because uh, he let the cat out of the bag. Sanford is one of the uh, chief uh, designers on the new uh, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse uh, Miles Morales movie. And a lot of that art is on paper. So be ready for that. If you're into uh, into the Spider-Verse, which was an awesome movie, and of course we all can't wait for the sequel, um, and you love Miles Morales, then get ready because uh, Sanford's going to have some key, key art coming up. But in the meantime, check out this awesome Ryan Stegman Hulk cover. Um, this is, uh, you know, the Immortal Hulk number 50 ended that run, and we're, we're jumping right into this new run with Ryan Otley and Donnie Cates, um, which I've, I've seen the art for the next couple issues. Uh, this is going to be quite a run. A Wolverine cover. And another Darth Vader cover. Uh, but this one will be inked by JP. Okay, enjoy the pencils there for a while. Let me see if there are any uh, 
Anything I need to address in the chat? Um, Matt Friedis asks, any of these for sale? Matt, that means you are new. So Matt, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to my site, felixcomicart.com, and sign up for the newsletter. This art will be all for sale, uh, but we make it available uh, during drops. So you need to sign up for the newsletter to find out when the drops happen. Okay, uh, let's see, everyone's enjoying the commissions. That's great. Got to feel that weight of the inks. Uh, Pat, I guess you're referencing the Darth, uh, the Darth Vader cover, yeah. Knights of Old, are these for sale or already sold? Uh, they will be for sale, they're not already sold. We don't pre-sale any art. We make it all available at the drop so everyone has a chance. Rick and Kelsey, commissions probably sold, covers probably available next time we drop. Right, Rick, thank you. Commissions, obviously they're commissions. So uh, those are, those are uh, already paid for. They're commissions. Uh, Marcus, across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, I think that's the title for the new one. Matt Friedis, do you guys get any art from by Brett Booth or Dan Moore? Matt, nope, uh, only artists that I rep, and you can find them all on my site. All right, okay. Um, congratulations, Tim Guerrero. You won the first prize. Um, just anybody who wins a prize, make sure you email me. Tim, I'm just going to add that to your pile that I, that I will ship to you next time. Let's, uh, let's let's go to our next box. Okay, here we go. This is this is uh, another FedEx box. This is uh, this it's the same box. It's just a different color, same size. There you go. And. Uh, let the, let the guessing commence. DC Patrol guesses Rosmo. F13, F13 guesses Matias. Mark V guesses Takara. Rick and Kasi guesses Bergara. Uh, Grant Real guesses Stevens. Uh, Pat L. Otley again. Bootlegging Conley. Ronlin Conley. Matthew Todd DWJ. Scott Wingo Imminent. Dylan Jacobs DWJ. Uh, David Escani Sone Pope. Mike Sichi Patera, Marcus Way Evely. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what you, what some of you guys are doing. You're just going with the same name with every guess, and like, uh, like a broken clock, you will be right twice a day. Um, uh, James Miller guesses uh, Green, uh, the Bronbers, James Heron, J.C. Biddy Felipe, Yo Curry Huddleston, Jordan Andrews Evely, Badbury Comics Andrade. Winner is James Miller. This is from Stephen Green. We've gotten you are from Stephen Green. Congratulations, James. Write me. I think uh, I think I've got a pile going for you too. I'll just I'll throw the card in there. But yes, you won. Uh, this box I had to open because there was something I needed to get out of here. Uh, but unlike the Stegman art, uh, I'm not seeing this yet. So even though the box has been opened, the art we're going to look at now. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at yet, so I'm looking at this for the first time too. And it's a nice little pile here. I I I know what's in here, or at least I know what's mostly in here, but I've not seen the art. So uh, let's check it out, everyone. Uh, this is uh, a, a cover, and this is for that title we talked about uh, that uh, Ryan Stegman did a variant cover for. This is what. What's the furthest place from here? Uh, variant cover by Stephen Green. I I, uh, I actually picked this book up from my shop, and it's a it's a big fat first issue for four ninety nine, which you know great value. Um, just haven't had a chance to read it yet. But like I said, I knew I do know we have a big fan of this uh, title in our chat tonight. Maybe he'll reveal himself. Okay, so here we go, guys. Uh, Hellboy. 
Stephen Green is doing Hellboy. Um, when Stephen joined us back in 2016, the first art we offered up for him was Hellboy. And I think I've told this story about uh, Stephen Green before. Um, I was uh, at Nick Patera's place in Austin back in 2014. And Nick just has a pile of uh, commissions of Manhattan Project's characters. So what Nick likes to do, he just likes to go up and down Artist Alley and commission every artist he comes across who has uh, space on their list to do a, uh, a Manhattan Project's uh, commission. Um, uh, and Nick's just a, you know, if you know Nick, you know Nick is a big-hearted guy. He wants, he wants everyone to have a good show, and uh, uh, and he he wants to help out artists. Uh, but you know, truthfully, like the the quality in that stack of commissions, it really ran the gamut. You know, there were some clearly amateur artists, but then you also had guys like Art Adams. Um, so I, I'm I'm flipping through that pile, and there's one piece that really stands out to me and it's Stephen Green's. I, I didn't know him. I, I hadn't heard of him before. Um, I said, uh, Nick, I, out of everyone in that pile, um, you know, outside of the obvious uh, legends like Art Adams, but out of all the new, you know, relatively unknown artists, uh, this is the guy who's really caught my eye. This is the guy I want to explore more. He was okay. That guy is Stephen Green. I actually know him. So that was my first exposure to Stephen's work. Well, I wasn't the only one who became an instant fan of Steven's art after he saw it. Another guy was uh, Mr. Mike Mignola. And uh, uh, Mignola uh, personally recruited St uh, Steve-O to, to draw Hellboy and, and to participate in Mignolaverse. So uh, Steven uh, did uh, some uh, Hellboy issues. He also did uh, a Lobster Johnson arc. And then uh, he was off to do his own thing, uh, his uh, creator own title, Sea of Stars. Uh, but Sea of Stars is now over. Uh, you know, Mike has always said, you know, please do more Hellboy when you're able. So uh, Stephen has this uh, spot in his schedule and he's, he's done some more Hellboy. So guys, congratulations. Uh, there is Hellboy art. Uh, I do have uh, someone who's interested in this complete but um, if it doesn't go complete, obviously we'll be breaking it up. We'll be dropping it. And for anyone who's new, uh, we drop every single page. We don't allow any cherry picking before it drops. So at a drop, all pages are available. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at this. Here's page one. Page two, nice big shot of uh, Big Red. Page three, three pages in, and every page is Hellboy so far. Page four. Page five. Page six. Well, as uh, as an art seller, I got to tell you, uh, if I'm going to get a Hellboy issue, uh, I'm really hoping for Hellboy to be on every page. And so far, so good. Uh, did I jinx myself? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen this art yet either. This is the first time I'm looking at it, but we're seven pages in, and there's Hellboy on every page. Eight. Nine. I really like that. That's, um, that's very uh, Mignola-ish right there with, uh, you know, with, uh, with Steven's twist on it. Well, this, this issue is the winner so far. Yep, 13 pages in, and uh, every page is Hellboy. 14 pages. I am really, really uh, tempting fate here. Here we go. Yes, to the uh, one collector out there who wrote me about this complete issue, 
Um, I still got to price it with Steve-O, but uh, I, will, I will be in contact with you. But uh, otherwise, uh, everyone else, you're getting a chance to see these pages, and every single one has Hellboy. And this is page 18. I'm looking at this right now, and I'm going to call this my favorite page. Great top panel, and I love this uh, this middle panel with Young Hellboy reading the comics. Here's another killer page. We're 20 for 20, guys. 20 pages uh, in and uh, 20 pages of Hellboy. One. Twenty-two. Wow. Uh, you know what? That's Hellboy right there. Check it out. That counts. Twenty-two for twenty-two. I did not know. I got to look at this the first time, too. I'm going to go back to uh, my favorite page so far. I'll have to go through this again before I actually declare a favorite page, but... Uh, at the first pass, I'm going to call this my favorite page. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, Victor Carvajal says, uh, Lastly, I've been very inspired for the work of Andrew McLean. So clear, cool, and badass all at the same time. Um, you know, it's funny you bring up uh, Andrew while we're looking at this because one of Andrew's heroes, obviously, is Mike Mignola. Uh, Andrew's doing his own thing, but it is, you can tell, you can see the Mignola influence. And not just in the art, uh, but he's doing his own thing. He's writing and drawing, and he has his own character. Uh, Head Lopper is his Hellboy. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Andrew's too. And uh, I am getting a package from Andrew very soon. He's he's uh, finishing up some commissions that he'll be sending me, and fingers crossed, some uh, more Head Lopper art. So, yeah, that's a clue for the next unboxing show. Uh, with any luck, one of those boxes will be from Andrew McLean. Victor Bracamontes, hey Felix, hey all, hey Victor, you just uh, dropped in. Uh, you, you haven't missed much, but uh, yeah, you're seeing some good stuff now. Uh, Mike says, is the Hellboy a one shot or a mini series? I guess what you're asking. You know, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, Mike. I think this may be. Uh, the one issue that uh, Steve's doing. He's he's actually uh, uh, working on uh, several different potential projects. I think, you know, he may continue on Hellboy, I, I, but I, I'm really not sure. I, I just, that's a good question. Awesome issue. Thank you, Bron Burrs. Okay. Um, that's it. Issue... Uh, Hellboy issue by our own Stephen Green. All right. Uh, so we've had two winners so far, Tim Guerrero and James Miller. You each get a uh, very rare East of West collectible. And here is the third package. So this package has been open, but I haven't looked at the art. And the reason I opened this package is because the sender was not the artist. And this is a really odd sized package. Like I've never gotten a package that looked like this before. Um, you know, this is like, this is your, your, your standard FedEx box. And this is like almost like an envelope and you can see it's smaller. And I, I didn't, I didn't know what it was. So I had to open up to, to find out. I, I took, Oh, that's uh, so-and-so's art. Uh, and I, I found out later they had a friend send it, which is why the name didn't match up. But I have not taken a look at the art yet, so this is the first time I'm going to see the art with you. Um, so let's see who are our guesses. Uh, ML guesses Yuko. DC Patrol says Rosmo. Johnny Granado says Johnny Come Lately. Uh, Grant Riddle says Stevens. Yo Curry says Huddle. Stun. The Brombers, James Heron. Jordan Andrews, Eve Lee, Rick and Costi, Bergara, Scott Wingo, Eminem. Uh, if they had thumbs, or if I had thumbs, as says Otley Hulk. Uh, Matthew Todd, DWJ, Maverick Combo, Bilquist, Mike Sitchi, Patera, Mark Way, 
Uh, Marcus Way, love. That's not a bad guess, Marcus. That's that's uh, you're actually making a serious guess this time. Uh, but it's not it's not love. Uh, Mark V, Trigada, Dylan Jacobs, Trad, James Miller, Conley, ML. Sorry, don't know what that is. Ron Lim, Conley, Jay Nunya. I was at Golden Apple. DJJ signed my stuff. Hey, Jay. Then I guess I mentioned too. Uh, Jeffrey Chang, Sook. J.C. Padilla, Felipe, Victor Bracamontes, Takara, Octavio D. Mooneyham, uh, If I Had Thumbs, A.B. Green, Otley, Rizwano Mahmood, Heron, Scott Wingo, Klein, I Am So, Evely. Uh, nobody has guessed it so far. And if you look at my roster, process of elimination, there's only a few names left. Someone's going to be winning this soon, or they should. Uh, Jordan Andrews guesses Chang. Nope, not Cliff either. Uh, ML, it's a new artist. ML, come on, would I do that to you? Only if I had a presented to give away, not a not a not a not a cheap holiday card. Uh, let's see, Mark B. Stevens, uh, Jay Nanya Bertram, Jeffrey Chang Green. Well, we just opened Green, Jeffrey Chang, uh, Brett Festcheck, McLean. Nope, Marcus Wade, Gene. Another good guess, Marcus, but not Gene. Uh, DC Patrol Klein. Nope, David Escone. Some Pope. Nope, Ron Lim. Yuko. Nope. Um, I may call this with no winner in a second. Uh, DC Patrol, Stevens, ML, my brain isn't working on the name. No, it isn't, ML. Uh, Jason Petitra, Gata, uh, Ted Sook, Felipe Shaw, Foss. See, uh, some of these names are getting repeated. Foss has not been guessed yet, but it is not Foss. Uh, Bertram, the Brazilian, nope, O'Malley, uh, Jasmine Putri. I don't know who that is, Jay Nunya. Uh, DC Patrol, Darrington's, nope, uh, but that's a first-time guest, so good job. Heron, nope, Huddleston. Josh Groban. Uh, Yo Curry thinks he's uh, Marcus Way, I think. You're, Yo Curry, I have met Marcus Way. You are no Marcus Way. Uh, if I had thumbs, they'd be green. Otley, nope. You've guessed that before, thumbs, and I told you it wasn't Otley, but keep trying. Jordan Andrews guesses Hung. Now, would that be Leslie Hung? Jordan Andrews, you got it. Finally, someone got it. All you had to do was process elimination. I think you guys guessed every single name. And uh, Leslie was one of the last names left. And Leslie is sort of uh, out of left field because we haven't had any Leslie art on the show before. We haven't had Leslie art, uh, period, in a long time. So uh, bootlegging is habit, guessed uh, Leslie after Jordan Andrews. Bootlegging, uh, I'm surprised. You should have guessed that earlier. TC Shen guessed Leslie, too. Sorry, Jordan was first. And, uh, yep, uh, it's Leslie. It's Leslie, guys. And it came in this, uh, I've never seen a, a FedEx uh, package like this before, but it came in here. Um, wrapped up in a little extra cardboard for support. Good job. Take a look. Okay, here we go, guys. Bootlegging says, I should have guessed Leslie, given I have a bunch of stock girls, art, and it's small. Indeed. Dan, this was kind of a gimme for you. I was dropping hints so that you could get one of those cards, one of those super rare official bootlegs. But uh, no, you're, no, you didn't get it. You let Jordan get it. So yeah, too bad. But guess what, guys? Uh, still three more chances. You still get three more chances to redeem yourself, Dan. Let's look at this haul from Leslie. It's a pretty good stack here. I haven't gotten any art from Leslie in a while. Uh, but I do have some good news regarding Snot Girl, this character right here, uh, the book she's doing with Brian Lee O'Malley. It is coming back in 2022. They're just banking some issues now so they can release a bunch in a row. And I think uh, that's sort of going to be the release pattern uh, going forward. But uh, exciting news for Snot Girl fans. And, uh, you know, we have these uh, pinup uh, type things, too, that are always popular from her. She's just a, a superstar on social media, you know. She's... Uh, um, uh, one of the one of the most influential artists of this generation. If you see who follows her, uh, and people who uh, cite her as an influence uh, for someone who's relatively new to comics, um, you know it almost doesn't matter anymore on, on social media. But here we go, a color uh, stock girl piece. Here's a pencil piece. I believe this is a uh, cool girl, another stock girl character. Stock girl and cool girl together. Really not sure who these two people are, but I will confirm with Leslie. I believe probably someone famous. Oh, I like this piece. This is a cool piece. 
this is this is this, this I bet is Leslie herself uh, on her drawing table. Cool piece. Just beautiful pestle pieces here, guys. Yeah, you can see she tore these out of her sketchbook. I'm always uh, asking her, you know, if she's ever willing to let these go, please send them to me because this is just great stuff and uh, fans and collectors love it. I mean, we, whenever I do uh, Leslie Art Drop, there are a lot of uh, people who, you know, don't typically, uh, you know, names, new names that I don't see. So they're, they're, they're here just for her. Just uh, Leslie just draws, draws, draws. This piece here is is uh, really exceptional too. The cool girl and uh, snot girl pieces are always very popular. Probably a, on anime, manga, or game character that I don't know, uh, but I'll find out from Leslie. It's cool regardless, color. And as we get through these, um, as we get through these sketches, we're gonna be hitting commissions pretty soon. I know she told me she included a bunch of commissions in here. So if you made her commission list, and we took her commission list this year, so she turned them out pretty quick. Um, if you're on her commission list, then your commission is probably in here. Another cool girl, cool girl character, uh, stock girl character, but I can't remember her name. Okay. Uh, you guys know this game. It's like Final Fantasy or something. But anyway, or uh, Morrigan, right? Anyway, you guys know who this is. Okay, I think we're getting into the commissions. Yep, she only takes a list uh, not, not every year, you know, it's, I think this is, this is only the second list she's ever taken with us. So uh, one list every few years. So congrats again to everyone who made this list. Here's a two character piece, uh, Death and Delirium from Sandman, of course. Leslie's perfect for it. Another death. Bootlegging is a habit. Uh, seizes commission, congrats. But how do you know someone else didn't uh, request uh, Whatever your, your request was, Kaki, Guriui, whatever. I'm sorry, guys, I don't know this, but I recognize her. This has got to be Faye Valentine. Another death. A lot of death requests, and they're all home runs. Ooh. My daughter would be very excited by this one. 13th Doctor, Jody Whitaker. Here's a more traditional subject, Wonder Woman. I guess that's Wonder Girl, whatever. It's great. Here we go, White Queen, Emma Frost.
And last but not least, Morpheus and Death. I love them all, guys, but this might be the one for me. Um, not my commission. Uh, I kind of wish it was. That's how I feel every time I go through these uh, box openings. I, I wish uh, the art was mine. Uh, but uh, congrats to whoever uh, whoever got this one. Congrats to actually everyone who got a commission from Leslie. They, they came out fantastic. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at the chat. Uh, yeah, Morgan is with Darkstalkers. Thank you, Jay. Um, Marcus, was, if, if there are three of the same character, who gets what? Well, these were kind of specific because I know one of them was a bust, but, uh, you know, Leslie will confirm with me. Okay. All right, that was uh, that was Leslie. Got the uh, hand, hand me that one, will you? Hams, thanks, man. Okay, I think I showed this on social media. This is the first time we've ever gotten a tube on the show. Uh, stuff uh, I, I prefer stuff shipped flat, but I think there was a reason this was shipped in a tube. So. Uh, we have uh, three lucky winners so far. Uh, Tim Guerrero, James Miller, Jordan Andrews, who's going to be number four. Dylan J Jacobs is DWJ. DC Patrol says Darrington. Scott Wingo says two boo. <laughs> I hear you, Scott. I do not love, you know, we never ship art uh, rolled up in a tube, just so you know. Uh, but there will be a time when that has to happen because, uh, you know, it, sometimes you're better off shipping stuff in a tube. When the, when the art's too big, um, there's more surface area for things to happen, you know, for, for, for cracks to happen and for, for art to get bent. And sometimes you're better off having art shipped in a tube. But the, otherwise, uh, yeah, that's, that is my initial reaction too. Uh, Rick Yankowski guesses Pope. Bootlegging guesses Pope. Uh, Marcus guesses DWJ. Uh, if I had thumbs, it's okay. That one's Otley, uh, Mike Cushion, X Men number one cover. Mike, oh, sh you, you gave away my, uh, my 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 private piece that I was going to show later. Uh, uh, surprise is ruined. Thanks, Mike. You, you ruined it for everyone. But this is not X Men number one. Uh, Grant Riddle says Stevens. Johnny Ground says Pope. Uh, Huddle Meister, Rosmo, Bertrand, Mooneyham, Bill Quister, God Andrade, O'Malley, Gene, Paul Pope by the Vasic. Uh, Marcus Wace says fruit roll-ups. See, that's how you do it, Yo Curry. Uh, Jay Nunez says Bertram. Scott Wingo, Klein double cover. DC Patrol, Bertram. Uh, Yo Curry, Auntie Helen. Like I said, uh, you're no Marcus Way. Okay, uh, let's me scroll up because someone actually got it. it this is from a resident uh, art legend, Paul Pope. And the first person to guess Pope was Rick Yankowski. Let's see, bootlegging is a habit. Guess Pope too. Uh, Johnny Granado guessed Pope. Good job, guys. But just a shade late. Levasic, uh, Paul Pope. Um, yep, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, it is indeed Paul Pope. And uh, Rick Yankowski was the first to get it. All right, guys. For the first time tonight, I'm breaking out the knife. I'm just going to uh, cut along the cap here. Get this sucker open. Okay. So I'm opening it up, but I know what's in here. And it's just one piece. It's a very special piece. So I'll show you guys in a second. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, 
I'll wrap this up in, uh, in paper. Very nice job. Well protected. It is a commission, but this will be published. And uh, you may or may not recognize the character. Uh, don't worry if you don't. Um, not well known, but the hardcore art collectors uh, love the source. This is Carol Day, uh, the character Carol Day from a very famous British strip uh, called uh, Carol Day uh, by uh, uh, artist David Wright. And uh, a lot of collectors collect the strips, and one collector in particular has embarked upon a project of uh, collecting all the strips from the most famous story arc. And they will be publishing that as an artist's edition. Um, he's also commissioned a lot of modern artists to, to create uh, their take, their interpretation of the character. And this is Paul's. And um, yep. You know, Paul, I think Paul, Paul is always going to be just a slam dunk. I don't know how he does it. Um, I think on the last, uh, on one of the previous uh, uh, unboxings, I showed um, some of the other ones. So you've seen some of them. And, I, and honestly, I, I got to hand it to him. I thought Ryan Sook um, really, really went above and beyond. And just, I didn't think that could be topped, but... You know, Pope is Pope. Uh, this might actually have done it. Well, needless to say, the uh, commissioner is uh, absolutely thrilled. And uh, you can look for this to be uh, published in that book. All right, just one piece. But, uh, you know, uh, quality over quantity. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the next one. All right, everyone, uh, hit that like button, please. Help me out. Help out the channel. Subscribe. All that. Uh, DC Patrol, right into it. Rosmo. Yep, this is another package. This is DHL. Um... Absurd 13, guesses Matthias, uh, Bad Bear Comics, McLean, Stevens, Evely, Puddleston. Yo, please, just, just, it's, I, I kind of uh, ad admire uh, that you, you're continuing to try, but I, I think it's enough. Uh, Dill Takara, uh, Scott Wingo, Bilquis, Andrade, Andrade, Otley Hulk, nope, Andrade, Takara, Darrington, European, that doesn't count, Mussolino, uh, Bilquis, Klein, Patera, Stegman. I'm just going to tell you that uh, it's already been guessed, but I'll read out a couple more. Klein, Evely Klein, uh, O'Malley, DWJ. Uh, let me scroll up. Episode 13, second guess of the whole of this uh, this round. Matthias, it is indeed Matthias. And, and those who have watched the show know, whenever you see DHL, it's probably not from the U.S., and, uh, yeah, this is from Uruguay. A nice, heavy package. Shift everything flat. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky to open, so... Yeah. Oh, man, I, can, I think I can feel the, uh, the booster kick in it. Hey, Yams, if I pass out, just uh, you take over, okay? Uh, Yams went to uh, the other Okay, room. got it. Okay, good, good. This could, could have been bad. Oh man, this is uh, this is tricky. We'll get it. Try not to cut yourself if you pass out too. Yeah, for those of you who enjoy the uh, ASMR aspect of the show, here you go. 
go. All right. Uh, see, I want you some heavy material. Matias always does a great job. You don't have to worry about the art getting damaged, especially coming from where it's coming from. It's got a long way to travel or potential for things happening. So yeah, I really appreciate the extra care he takes. Okay, so, so uh, Matias' new book is called Step by Bloody Step. And uh, he, it's a follow-up to CODA with his CODA collaborator, Simon Spurrier. And uh, I've seen the first issue, and it's an absolute knockout. Uh, they have sent it out to um, fellow artists and creators, and uh, people are losing their minds over it. So I have issue two here I, I see as well, which unfortunately I cannot show you. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I got issue one with previous Matias package, but that art will be available in, coming up in, uh, I believe, February, the first issue drops. We just created our, our print ad for that issue. Uh, but there's some other art that will be cool to check out. You know what? You know what, guys? Screw it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some of these pages. I haven't seen it either. This is issue two, so you, know, you haven't even seen issue one yet. I'm going to show you just a couple pages of issue two. Why not? Why not? Unlike that, uh, some of that Thor and I showed you are, you know, might ruffle Disney's feathers. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Matthias and Simon will forgive me here. They're the owners. They ain't Disney. That's the cover, and uh, he saran wrapped everything. Great, I'm telling you, this guy, man. This guy, he's just so happy. So happy at the effort he takes on making sure this art is like perfect and doesn't get damaged. All right. Let's take a, let's take a gander. Couple pages can't hurt, right? So as I understand it, uh, this series is silent. It's all told in pictures. So there won't be any words. And uh, it's really a showcase for, for Matthias, more than ever. Um, yeah, you're, 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 so you're really getting it all with this art. Whoa, opens up with a splash page of a giant ship. Wow. Oh, and that's a that's a cover. This is a cover. Uh Wow. You know what? Uh maybe I shouldn't show you guys anymore. I think that's it. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to tease you. Maybe uh, maybe this might reveal a little too much. But holy crap. This looks great. Step by bloody step, guys. That's the name of the book. Order it from your comic shop now. It's going to be another giant hit for Image. I know it. All right. Well, let's take a look at the art I, we definitely can't see. But these are some commissions. I always show off commissions.
And I just, I'm looking at my phone right now, I just got a first text for someone interested in the complete uh, Step by Blade Step 2. That's how crazy it is, guys. You know, when I show the art off on the unboxing show and people people write me. Uh, last one, I think I, I, had, I got three issues of Stuart Eminem's Magic Order 2. Uh, I could only show one of them. Uh, actually, I showed the wrong issue. The funny thing is, yeah, I thought I was showing issue one. I actually showed issue two. But regardless, after the show, you know, all three issues went. I mean, we were just selling issues complete from the show. Um, the very, very first one, you know, of course, the the uh, all the Supergirl issues, the Phil Quist Evely Supergirl issues, and, and on and on. And it may happen here, too, but we'll see. Okay, let's see what we got here. Commissions. Cool. Vision. Wow, Cordo Maltese. Love by 17. Full size. There he is. Right there. Hugo Pratt's Corto Maltese. Uh, if you've not read it, um, there's an English language translation available from IDW. Uh, the real purists apparently have some issues with it, but uh, at least you get to read it. it. Might not be perfect, but at least you get to read it. I have not seen this one, and this is amazing. It's uh, it's Logan. I gotta leave it here for a second. Oh my lord! I mean, some of these I've seen on social media, but not this one. Holy smokes! Oh, this is, a, this is a really cool subject. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes on the case. I like how he uh, he's doing some of these landscape. Usagi Ojimbo. And uh, I'll tell you right now that uh, this could very well be a cover. So whoever got this, Usagi, uh, keep your fingers crossed. This might actually be used as a cover. I think all, all these are colors so far. I think people are generally going for color. Oh, man. Look at that. Dark Knight and Carrie Kelly. Oh, come on. This, this isn't even fair. This was not mine. If, you, if, you, if you've seen my collection on CAF, you know that's one of my collection themes, uh, Dark Knight and Carrie Kelly. It kind of speaks to me as a uh, father of a young daughter. Uh, you know, I imagine ourselves as uh, Batman and Robin on our adventures. Um, and I love this. I love this. Oh, Brian Clark is in the house, and he says, that's my Usagi. If, did, if you are the one who asked for that, Brian, um, as a matter of fact, he wrote the name on the back. That is yours, Brian. Uh, that might be a cover. Oh, this one's going to be hard to send off. Let me see if there's a name on the back of this one. Yes, there is a name on the back of this one. Um, and the name on the back is Felix Liu. <laughs> Oh, check this out. Check this out. This is, um, this is, uh, Matthias's Carol Day, uh, commission. Um, boy, this is, this is gorgeous too. Just gotta love what, you know, what, what he, just everything this guy does, man. Just beautiful. Okay, this is, uh, this is, uh, we're done with the commissions. Now we're in the very covers. You see he does uh, pen ink, black and white, which I love. But I think uh, if you're going to get a commission from him, man, those colors are, those colors really pop. 
It's a variant cover for a book called, apparently called The Rush. Don't know it? I'll find out more from, from Matthias. And uh, here's a Marvel cover, guys. Uh, Death of Doctor Strange, X-Men, Black Knight cover. Cool. We got two covers here that will be going in our cover drop. All right, that's the Matias show, guys. Uh, wow, I, I'm so happy I, that Dark Knight turned out so well for me. I love that Dark Knight. Thank you, Matias. Uh, to the person out there who also commissioned Dark Knight and Carrie Kelly, uh, yeah, I, I think it got lost in the mail. I'm sorry. Uh, the things happen. Uh, I'll get your refund. Don't worry. Uh, listening to Walkman. Yes, Carrie Kelly's listening to Walkman. I uh, I requested that from uh, from Matthias. Uh, no, I did not. I, 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 I did not, but damn, I really like that commission. Uh, Yo Curry says, great read, The Rush. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Okay, so we have uh, five winners so far. I haven't taken your names down, so make sure you email me off the top of my head. It's James Miller, Tim Guerrero. Uh, uh, who else? Anyway, email me, please. So I don't forget. Okay. Next box. And this is the final chance. Final chance, guys. Oh, there's, a, there's a name on this tab. Peel this off. All right. Uh, this is... This is kind of... Uh, this is kind of... Uh, this is a kind of a bigger box, and look at that. This is your FedEx box, and this is the, the other box. All right, let's go. Let's go. I love how someone guessed Bergara after we just opened up a Bergara package. I mean, I should, de I should DQ you from, from future guesses. That's not, that's not even trying. Uh, we got uh, Huddleston, Andrade, Yuko Stevens, Dragata, Dragata, Bergara, boo, shame. Darrington, McLean, uh, Juan Toscano, Anderson by Marcus Way. See, that's how you do it, Yo Curry. That's a that's that's a, that's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nonsense answer, but it is a Golden State Warrior, so he's kind of playing to uh, uh, to what I like. See, that's how you do it, Yo. Watch Marcus and learn. Uh, Absurd thirteen guesses: Bertram, Eminent, James Heron, Rossman, DWJ, Stevens, Stevens, Otley. If I had thumbs, is guessing oddly every single time. Kelsey Steen, oddly. Bertram Pope. Jason BD, I guess it's Shaw. Uh, JK Zia, I guess it's L O L. Uh, nope, Patera, Heron. Um, uh, Takara, haha, ha, Green. You know what? We actually have a winner, but I want to make sure no one guessed it beforehand. Uh, we have a winner, guys. You can stop guessing. And our winner is J.C. Padilla. He guessed Shaw. And this is from Jeff Shaw. Have not gotten a package from Jeff in quite some time. So very excited to open this one up. And why is this so big, Jeff? Is it because there's big art inside? Or is it because this is the only box you had lying around? Uh, very possibly the latter. I don't mean to tease you guys. But who knows? Maybe there's something big in here. Let's see, odds are this is the only box he had. Box, so. yeah. I'm starting to see stars. Is that normal? Yes. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on you. Yeah. Oh, man. Where, where, who are you? Where am I? What's going on? Right. In the land of Oz. The little people. So, see what time is it right now? It's 7.20, so 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, I turn into a pumpkin. Or something. I want to. I want to be home for that when that happens. So let's let's hustle through that. Uh, yeah, I brought that giant package. So you want to see big? Remember that that package I brought last time? That giant one. I didn't get to didn't get to open because we ran out of time. I might run out of time again this week. Sorry guys, but I tried. I did try. I shall that that shall remain the great mystery of the uh, 
unboxing art show, the history of the unboxing art show. What was in that giant box? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> oh, just right off with, with all this uh, bubble wrap and the, wow. Uh, art looks to be about 11 by 17. So, yep, I think this was the only box he had. But you know what? A uh, lot of room for cushioning and padding. Well, I'm never, I'm never going to complain about that. And the art itself is is wrapped up in this, uh, in all this bubble wrap. So, we know everything's good. You see, every everyone does things a little bit differently, but as long as it gets to me in uh, tip-top shape, that's really all that matters. So Jeff has been super busy with deadlines on Crossover, and if you've been reading Crossover, it's the book he's been doing with uh, Donnie Cates uh, for Image, and it is it is just a fantastic read. A lot of fun. I'd say that's the most fun book on the stands, at least the most fun book I'm reading right now. Uh, I know the first trade is out, so check it out. Uh, big, big hit that book. I'm pretty sure I think uh, every page we've gotten from it has sold. I know you guys are kind of uh, used to hearing that, or it's not a surprise, but I, I do not take that for granted. Um, that has just never really happened in our hobby. Uh, so we are just very grateful for the response from collectors and fans who are just, uh, you know, who recognize great talent, who recognize great art. And uh, yeah, the, the art just sells. So let's take a look at what, uh, what this package brings. I hope there are some commissions in here. So, so, like all our artists who took commissions in 2020, uh, they all took long lists for the, all the reasons I mentioned earlier. And we took over 500 commissions in 2020. That's the most commissions we've ever taken. It's, I'm not counting like little sketches or things like that. I mean, these are full on commissions from our crew. Um, yeah, over 500 commissions. I don't know if any group has ever done that many full on commissions before. So, they're taking a little while to complete so for most of these guys we did not take lists in 2021 um, but you know if you were on any of their, those lists you congrats on being on them as you can see from those Matias commissions and all the commissions we show off worth the wait DC Patrol says, my seven-year-old daughter is watching with me. She's going to see a piece or two before bed. This is a family event. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, DC. I think uh, I think someone uh, commissioned uh, Jeff to do his uh, homage to Milo Manara. So uh, you've been warned. All right. Your seven-year-old is going to grow up real fast in a couple of minutes. See what we got here. Yay, Conan. So yeah, uh, Jeff's been doing a, uh, he's been the Conan cover artist. This is the uh, cover for number 22. Another Conan cover. He's got a katana. Yep, Conan, and these will most likely be available during our all cover drop that's coming up. Uh, was hoping to get it in this month, in December, but might not happen until January. Obviously, I still need to get the art, uh, the inks for Ryan's covers from JP and some other things I'm waiting for. So, but but it will happen. Just hang tight. Double page spread. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. This might be a commission, but holy smokes. I will have to find out for sure from Jeff exactly what this is. 
uh, but this is a giant Thanos wins piece. And you got Thanos here, and you got Cosmic Ghost Rider, of course. Cosmic Ghost Rider, who debuted in Thanos Wins. Uh, we sold the first ever Cosmic Ghost Rider art in Thanos Wins. We've sold a lot of first appearances, and you never know. You know, you never know what's uh, what's actually going to hit, what's actually going to stick. Uh, but to date, I think Cosmic Ghost Rider might be the most significant first appearance art we've we've sold. Um, I think uh, 20, 30 years from now, I think history is going to look back on this period of, uh, of art and, and uh, if I may say, uh, Felix comic art. And, you know, we'll have sold a lot of significant pieces to collectors. Uh, and I, I love that take on Galactus too. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a commission. I'll have to find out from Jeff or if this is uh, something for Marvel. But it's great. It is, uh, it's a double page spread. So it's 17 by 22. Uh, we'll call that wall power. Okay, uh, this is crossover issue five. Here's a cover. Should be uh, landscape. Um, I think we're on crossover ten, so there no shouldn't be any spoilers here. But uh, there, there is a lot of exciting stuff that happens during this series. So are you, if you've not read crossover five, uh, uh, give us about five minutes. You can come back. Everyone else, enjoy this art that will be dropping soon. Yeah, I think we've, uh, all the crossover art we've had uh, has sold. I mean, if there might be, you know, one or two pages left, but I know all of issue one sold out. Uh, one of the later issues sold complete, and whatever other issues we dropped is sold out or almost sold out. And here's your next chance, issue five. Uh, a lot of characters in silhouette here, so you can kind of guess who they are. You know the premise of the series, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, look at that, Madman. Yep, if uh, you read the series, you know, uh, they, they, they brought in Madman. Whoa, look at this splash page. The Payback's Madman. And uh, the sword from God Country. Like I said, this is a really super fun read. God Country is what really turned Jeff and Donnie Cates into stars. And, and uh, in my opinion, I think it's uh, still the best thing Donnie's written. And I'm, I'm a big fan of Donnie's writing. Um, that still may be the best. I thought Thanos Wins was great. Of course, he collaborated with Trad on Silver Surfer Black, so it's not, you know, I mean, he's, he's, he's just a one hit after another, but God Country is, uh, is really special. But this follow-up to uh, God Country for, for Donnie and Jeff uh, is great in its own right. It's different. But it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Boy, a lot of action going on this issue. Valofax. Good job, Kelsey. That is the name of the sword. Yep, pretty, uh, pretty action-y. Here's a splash. Here's a don't be splash. Look at that. Really emphasizes Valofax. Uh, for anyone who's going to be, uh, speaking of Donnie, for anyone who's going to be in Vegas next week, uh, he's doing a signing at Torpedo Comics, and uh, two of my guys will be there as well, Ryan Stegman and Ryan Otley. Uh, I will be in at the signing, so come by Torpedo Comics, say hi. Get a selfie with your uh, favorite podcast host. I haven't, I haven't decided on my rate yet, but uh, yeah, bring cash. SIGs are free unless you CGC. And I uh, haven't decided on my rate yet, but again, bring cash. And here's page 20. And uh, yep, we close on a 
splash page, cliffhanger. Okay, that's it, guys. That's it. All six packages have been opened. Um, I'm still feeling kind of okay. I'm a little lightheaded, uh, but uh, I don't know. I'm still making sense, right? You are still speaking English. All right. Um, shall we give the giant box a shot? Can you can you handle the, the camera? Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, is this... Uh, I'll, I'll try my best not to mess yeah. with this. Just, just, to, just to point the camera at the box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that other one. Okay, guys, this is it. Uh, I showed off this box last time. I wasn't able to show you what was inside. Uh, some of you guys uh, were a little annoyed by that, uh, but I did run out of time. Um, I am risking uh, vaccine injury here, uh, but we will get it done. So that's, to give you an idea of scale, that's your regular FedEx box. And uh, this is uh, the box that arrived for me, for my collection. Let's, uh, let's take a look. This has already been opened, but I, I really need this box to, to transfer this art. And you'll see in a sec. Let's see, let's see if anybody got any guesses for this. This is for this is for a no prize. Any guesses? Uh, big boy, yeah. Any guesses? A McKean Sandman cover. Um, James Jean. That's not a bad guess. Giant box, giant box. Uh, James Harden. Yo Curry still trying. Yo Curry not giving up. Um, see. Marcus said want Toscano Anderson because he's a warrior. I, I couldn't care less about Harden or the Nets or whoever he's playing for now. Uh, Pope. Morgan Hatfield guesses Cho. Not a bad guess, but except Cho has not sold any art since 2010. Like not as, Except he donated a piece of charity, but he has not sold art otherwise. Uh, Bertram. Drew Struzan. Nice guess, Mike. Uh, Rude. Wacky Packages art. Surprise, the big box is actually Ikea. No, there's art inside, Robert, but still, that was better than Yo Curry. Uh, Yo Curry back with James Heron. Nope, sorry, Yo. DC Patrol, DWJ. Uh, you know what, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you. Let's let, lay it flat. Yeah, suffice to say, nobody's gotten it right so far. Let's... Uh, you want me to grab the camera and turn it, or? Yeah, maybe just uh, so people can see. Yeah. All right. Get clear. piece of foam but this package is no joke I'm gonna take off the foam and reveal Acme Novelty Library number 15 cover an absolute masterpiece by Chris Ware the piece that uh, in his opinion is the greatest uh, piece of art he's ever executed and who am I to argue with that um, I think I told you last time uh, the other box had another Chris Ware cover. That was the uh, number 10 cover. Um, and I said that he had three pieces left that he felt were his best work that he saved for uh, museum exhibits. And so this was in the same exhibit. Um, there's a third piece uh, I did not get, but only because I really couldn't swing three pieces. I, could, I, I really shouldn't have been able to swing these two pieces. But if I could only get one piece, it would, of course, be this one. Um, truly one and done and for someone who has been uh, you know uh, dying for a Chris Ware piece it does not get any better than this I mean it doesn't get any better than this anyway yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should, uh, this is all still uh, in the saran wrap but you can uh, get a better look here I don't know you want to you want to bring the camera down a little closer people can see I mean, it's just, uh, 
the guy's uh, design is just masterful. And all the text, everything is handwritten. And uh, no correction anywhere. Um, how did he pull this off? I mean, this to me encapsulates, uh, encapsulates uh, everything wh where it does, uh, you know, he's just, just uh, his, his genius is on full display here. So I couldn't be more uh, proud to In the monograph, it's uh, it's a two-page spread, and it's color, um, and it looks great, but uh, it looks even better this way. So yeah, I'm a I'm a penny guy, through and through. Um, yeah, this is this is just as good as it gets for for comic art. Yeah, and I owe uh, a lot of thanks to Chris, of course, for uh, selling this to me, but also to my friend Todd Hignite for arranging it, um, for giving me a shot at it. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm a very, very uh, proud owner of this. Okay. You know, he designed it so it can be oriented either way. Um, that's actually his preferred orientation, but if you flip it around, it works too. Uh, this that one has to be framed. It is, Ron. It's already framed. It came from the, um, it came from the uh, the museum. They they just packed it up and sent it to me. Okay, uh, where are we at? Seven thirty eight. So uh, we started a little late, but. Uh, just about an hour and a half, which is how long these shows run. I, uh, my preferred running time. Uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, for coming in. Um, congrats to six winners this week. Again, please email me. Uh, the The vaccine's kicking in, and I I, I can't remember who won it anymore. Um, but if you if you lie, I'm going to go back to this chat and and confirm. Uh, Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah, don't know what else to say. Uh, that's that's gonna be my biggest art day ever. It's it's gonna be uh, you know little little freebie sketches uh, from here on out. Um, yep. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, thank you, DC Patrol, thank you, Bootlegging, thank you, Mark B, thank you, Yo Curry, even with your corny jokes, uh, thank you, Absurd13, thank you, David, Escani Son, Joe Antunes, Marcus Way, Rick Jankowski, Kelsey Steen, Mike Sitchi, Bootlegging is a Habit, uh, Jesse Morgan, happy holidays, indeed, happy holidays, everyone, um, Jason. JC Padilla, uh, and yeah, everyone who tuned in. Again, thank you. Good night, guys. See you uh, next time.